hello everyone let us uh, continue with our corneal ulcer so in the previous video we have completed till the uh, classification of the corneal ulcer now let us start with the infective back infective corneal ulcer and we'll go from the bacterial one so cornea being the outermost part is most exposed and uh, it has some defense mechanism in the tear which are lysozymes and beta lysine so we know that we have a fibrous coat in our eyeball which are the cornea and the sclera cornea being the anterior most part covering one by um, sixth part of the whole eyeball okay so in the uh, etiological um, factors uh, the factors those are necessary for uh, cor corneal ulcer to occur are the damage to the corneal epithelium and infection of the eroded area so okay the uh, infective corneal ulcer may develop when there is um, either ocular defense mechanism is uh, not working properly like um, when there is uh, immunocompromised condition and uh, when the organism is very virulent or the local predisposing uh, factor is present okay so after that when there is damage to the corneal epithelium and infection of those that uh, eroded area then there occurs the corneal ulcer but there are three bacteria as we have made that pneumonix gmc that is gonorrhea Neisseria gonorrhea, Neisseria meningitis, and Cornibacterium diphtheri. It can affect the intact uh, corneal epithelium also. Okay, so uh, there can be predisposing factors like corneal abrasions due to foreign body, dry eye, or jerosis, and then ker keratomalacia, tropic changes. So, for the bacterial um, corneal ulcer to occur, there are basically four stages uh, in the pathology. So, let us see the figure here first. So, the first stage is the stage of a uh, progressive infiltration. This is the epithelium of the cornea when there is erosion and the infection. There is infiltration of the polymorphonuclear cells and the lymphocytes which causes the necrosis um of the uh, underlying epithelium and the stroma okay then second stage is the stage of active ulceration in this the bacteria as well as bacteria acts um, and its toxins causes the necrosis and slowing off of the uh, underlying stro epithelium as well as stroma okay and there is grace like infiltration in the area of the uh, so area of the ulcer um, when it erodes still the desmond membrane as we know that desmond membrane is very resistant to infection so it balls out forming a desmento seal third one is we have uh, stage of regression uh, when um, there is action of the host immunity and the uh, um, uh, treatment is compliant then there occurs the uh, healing of the ulcer where uh, there is formation of a um, lining of a line of demarcation consisting of the leukocytes okay so uh, it forms the uh, line of demarcation and these leukocytes not only neutralize the uh, offending organism but it also it also uh, phagocytes them okay after that there is uh, stage of cicatrization which is uh, healing of healing by formation uh, or uh, let's say healing by fibrosis okay healing by formation of the fibrous tissue here the stroma thickens um, by the underlying underlying of the uh, fibroblast which is partly formed by the corneal fibroblast and partly by the endothelial tissue okay so these are the stages of the pathology of corneal ulcer uh, then after that we have to um, know about the its symptoms so i have made a mnemonic here which is pplr there is pain due to mechanical effect of the lids as well as the due to toxins uh, chemical toxins those are secreted by the uh, bacteria then there is photophobia there is blood vision there is lacrimation and redness while going to the signs we have to uh, see the signs from the outermost structure to the innermost so first one here we have lead edema then on the conjunctiva there is chemosis that is edema of the conjunctiva and the hyperemia similarly in corneal ulcer there is grayish white circumscribed infiltrate which enlarges 
and there is progressive ulceration which may lead to perforation and later on can lead to bacterial endophthalmitis which is the ocular emergency so iris looks muddy in color and pupil may be small due to the uh, chemical toxins okay because there is um, there is there can be presence of iritis uh, due to the action of the bacterial toxin on the iris then a oh, well established bacterial also looks yellowish white uh, with margin swollen and overhanging and the floor is covered by necrotic material and the, there is stromal edema also the complications of the corneal ulcer are toxic iridocyclitis secondary glaucoma similarly desmentosil perforation of the corneal ulcer and corneal scarring for the treatment we have dual therapy of um, fortified cefazolin and tobramycin uh, 5% of cefazolin and 1.3% of the eye drops okay uh, what does this fortified mean it means to increase the strain of the antibiotics okay so or we can use freshly prepared fortified vancomycin 5% plus commercial fluoroquinolones eye drop two drugs should be instilled alternatively that is every 5 minutes for 30 minutes every 15 minutes for 2 hours and one hourly for 48 hours two hourly during day and four hourly during night till healing ensured and four to six hourly till healing occurs once the healing occurs it can be replaced by the commercially prepared antibiotics Sim systemic antibiotic is usually not required uh, if required then we can use cephalosporins and cycloplasics can be used uh, that is one person atropine to prevent the formation of the posterior synecky and to reduce pain from ciliary spasm and to increase the sublar supply relieving uh, pr pressure on the ciliary muscles for non-healing ulcer or ulcer those are impending perforation or those who have already perforated surgical um, method is indicated for surgical method we can do penetrating therapeutic keratoplasty uh, by using tectonic graft or amniotic membrane transplantation so for investigation we have to do corn we can do corneal scraping okay so by using the spatula we have to scrape the base of the cornea and we can use this sample for doing gram stain or uh, other uh, cultures uh, or in various investigations so this much for uh, um, corneal bacterial corneal ulcer we will continue with viral corneal ulcer in next video bye bye